boys and girls, students of Buddhist Sunday School, parents, grandparents, and teachers of Buddhist Sunday School and Dharma classes. May you all be well, happy, and peaceful. We are going to have a presentation on a story. And the title of the story is The Foolish Horse, A Kid's Moral Story. This story has good moral lessons, which we will discuss at the end of the story. Now, the texts are in English and Malay, whereas the narration, together with the explanation and comments, will be in English. So we go over the story, I'll read the story slide by slide and comment or explain a bit. And most important, at the end, we will learn some good life lessons or you can say moral lessons or Dharma teachings. Now, as usual, we will launch the PowerPoint and uh, we start from the beginning, right? From the beginning, the PowerPoint. Now you can see the cover slide, the Polish horse. Before that, let me take off the video. Right? Now, so here you can see that uh, the cover slide shows, of course, a horse. And of course, you see another character of the story is an elephant. Right? So, Kuda, Bodo, Kesa, Moro, Kanakana. So, let us now uh, go over the story. A long time ago, in the jungle, lived a horse named Shatiman. Shatiman loved to eat fresh green grass. There was a lot of grass where he resided. The grass was very tasty to eat. Shatiman loved eating the grass. His life was progressing swiftly. Then one day, an enormous elephant came into the jungle. Ah, so you see this horse by the name of Shatiman. You can see the picture or the image. And he loved to eat the fresh green grass. Right? So he was staying around that area huh? uh, where he resided. And he was very happy lah, eating the grass. And his life was quite smooth and he passed very, very fast. Swiftly means very, very fast. Then one day, a very big elephant came into the jungle. And you can see from here, the elephant coming. Right? Uh, this one is the animated. Uh. So, Shatiman was eating the grass. Uh, so let us go on to slide number three and see what happens now. The elephant reached the place where Shatiman was residing or staying. On seeing the green grass, the elephant said, Wow, so much green grass. I haven't had a hearty meal for a long time. It will be pleasurable to eat this. So the elephant then started eating Shatiman's grass. He enjoyed eating the grass a lot. Elephant enjoyed eating the grass a lot. So on seeing the elephant eat his grass, Shatiman felt very upset. Now, the question is whether the grass belonged to the horse or he was just at the area where he was residing, you see. So he was not happy. He thought that, you know, he, this grass belonged to him and he didn't want to share. All right? But the elephant came. And uh, of course, elephants also would need uh, food, isn't it? So the elephant was very happy seeing the green grass. Say, I haven't had a, a very good meal for a long time already. It will be very nice to eat this grass. So he started eating the grass there. He enjoyed eating. 
Shatima was very upset. He did not want to let the elephant eat. Now, let's see what would happen then. Now, let's go on to the next slide, which is slide number four now. Huh? So, this horse, Shatiman, thought to himself, well, he was thinking in his mind, this grass is my food. I have no idea when this elephant will go away. Right? Of course, he could not fight the elephant, you see. So the elephant got fond of the place, you know. So it was getting very easily plenty of food and water in that park area, you know, where you have the grassy land for its requirements. Shatiman got worried uh, on seeing the elephant take control of his residence. So I don't know whether it was true that he was the owner of this whole place or not. You know, all right. So he thought to himself, this elephant is showing no signs of leaving this place. What should I do to make him go away? Uh, so he did not want even to talk to the elephant. Of course, uh, it's a story of animals could talk. Huh? And he wanted to get rid of this elephant, uh, basically, because he didn't want the elephant to eat the grass, which he claims to be his. Uh, so now let us go on to slide number five. So Sh Shatiman started thinking about the ways to make the elephant go away. Or he wanted to drive the elephant away. Lah. So he said to himself, Ah, a lion is the biggest enemy of the elephant. If I can get help from a lion, then this elephant can be kicked out of this jungle. Uh, actually, it was a foolish talk. Uh, <laughs> because you were to approach the lion and the island, uh, and then the lion uh, uh, wanted to eat an animal. Uh, so it could be eaten uh, instead of the elephant, isn't it? Uh, the uh, elephant a uh, very big animal. So the lion also could eat the horse, isn't it? So that was a foolish talk. So he thought about it, uh, but he knew it. Uh. So Shatiman thought of seeking the help of a lion to make the elephant go away. But then another thought struck his mind. Uh, luckily, <laughs> he had this thought, uh, otherwise uh, he might die if he uh, were to go to seek out the lion. No, no. I cannot seek the help of a lion. If I get the help of a lion, there is a possibility that he will kill me. Of course, you see. I cannot get help from a lion. Uh, luckily, he thought about that. Otherwise, he might die also. Uh, can you imagine? Uh? <laughs> Maybe he was picturing in his mind that elephant would chase him uh, uh, to eat him. Uh, elephant also. Uh, elephant is even bigger than him, isn't it? Uh? So it's at least the, uh, the lion can be very fierce. Uh, he uh, eats other animals, you know. Uh, so that was the Shatiman thinking. Uh. So now let us go on to slide number six. So Shatiman then thought of getting help from a human being. Ah, he said, now, now, whether I'll approach a human being, why shouldn't I seek help from a human? A human can help me. So Shatiman said to himself. So thinking this way, Shatiman went to the edge of the jungle Actually, these places in the, the, the jungle, uh, the grassy land. Uh, so, actually, uh, he couldn't claim possession of that, isn't it? Uh? He thought that he stayed there, so the thing belonged to him. It's a jungle-free area. No? Anyway, Shatiman went to the edge of the jungle. Uh, he wanted to go to the outside of the jungle to look out for a man, uh, to seek help from a human being. Ah, Then, Shatiman met a man. Uh, you can see the picture here. Right? He's an Indian man. And he told the man about the elephant. Uh, and said, the elephant, that elephant uh, is ruining my grass, spoiling my grass. Can you help me by making the elephant go away? Ah, uh, so he asked the help of this man. All right. So now you could see the, the picture, uh, the horse thinking, and then the Indian man, and then the receipt of the horse to the man who was sitting there. All right. So now, would the man help him? Would he be so kind to help him? 
because the man also knew that uh, probably uh, that grassy place does not belong to him. Elephant also entitled to eat what, isn't it? <laughs> He's uh, in the jungle, isn't it? Uh, so now let us go on to slide number seven. The man keenly, uh, he was very interested, uh, to, uh, he listened to Shatiman. And then after thinking for a while, he replied, or he said this, I can help you by killing that elephant. However, I will also need your help as well. Shatiman was very, was happy uh, upon hearing this. He then asked the man, in what way can I help you? The man said, To kill the elephant, I will need to sit on your back. That means on the back of the horse. If the elephant tries to run away to save himself, then I might have to chase him huh? to kill him. Huh? At such a time, I will need you. I cannot run as fast as the elephant. So you will have to... Sort of uh, fetch me lah. I will ride the horse lah. In other words, uh. so you can see uh, the conversation between the man and the horse, and then after that he asked that the horse should let him ride the horse and then go to kill the elephant. Wow, uh, terrible lah. Uh. So both of them also uh, have this idea of killing, you know. Uh. So now let us see what happens next. I think you understand the story, huh? Shatima replied to the man, understanding the man's point of view. So he said, okay, if you manage to kill the elephant, I will do whatever you say. Uh, so he also has this thought of killing uh, the elephant. In other words, he was not having good qualities or so, lah. Uh. Uh, he got the intention to kill. It was a bit selfish also, isn't it? Right? Elephant uh, naturally will also uh, need food uh, to eat. So then the man mounted. That means went on top of the horse. Right? On the horse back. Uh. And then of course, and put a saddle. He put a saddle there. And then he put a bridle. That means I think you have seen uh, people riding horse. They, they have that sort of, uh, you know, uh, or something like a rope uh, where, you know, it will be put across the mouth uh, and then the man can hold on to it and ride, uh, riding a horse, I think you would have seen. Uh, uh. Then the man was using a spear. Uh. Actually, you know, he also used the spear to poke the horse uh, to make it run faster. One. <laughs> uh, these people all, uh, you know, they're not practicing good dharma, uh, so causing pain to others. And the man, oh, wow, really enjoy riding the horse, you know. Uh, the, the man enjoy riding on the Shatiman, the horse. Uh. Uh, so here, I just uh, put an animated image, right? To show the man riding on the horse. The horse was moving. Uh. Uh, so that was the arrangement. So now let us see what will happen next. Uh, right? Because the man was riding the horse, Shatiman, with the intention of going to kill the elephant. Oh, so this horse very foolishly thinking that wow, the man uh, would help him. Uh. <laughs> now let us go on to slide number 8. After some time, both of them reached the elephant. The elephant was also staying in the jungle. Uh, so during that time, maybe uh, I don't think he was eating the grass. Uh, he was just maybe a distance from the grassy area where the horse used to eat the grass there. Lah. So the elephant uh, when he saw a man riding on this horse, of course the elephant had seen the horse before, lah, isn't it? Yeah, because he was sitting in the same area as Shatiman, the horse uh, eating the grass that area. So he was a bit Surprised already, a little bit shocked. He was confused. How come now this horse has somebody riding on top of him? And of course, he probably saw the man holding a spear. So the elephant also 
was a bit afraid already. Huh? The elephant would not be afraid of a horse or other animals, you see, but he would, would be afraid of a man who could kill. You know? So before the elephant could do anything, you know what happened? Ah, before he could do anything, the man threw the spear. Lah. He was holding the spear. You could see the picture. Huh? I didn't show the throwing of the spear. The spear was thrown at the elephant with great force. And it struck the elephant. Right? Maybe near the night area. Hit it. Because those days, they didn't have gun. Probably they used bow and arrow, spears and things like that, you know. So elephant or you the spear uh, poked through the neck area already. Uh, then you know, after some time the elephant collapsed and died. So the elephant was killed by the man. And the horse was very happy. <laughs> uh, imagine that uh, over eating grass, you see. So now let us go on to slide number 10 now. So Shatiman felt very happy. Oh, you know, on seeing the elephant fall to his dad. Oh, actually, uh, he had no compassion. Uh, so he was very happy to see the elephant killed because he was thinking, uh, now the elephant, you could not eat my grass. Uh, he was only thinking of, of his own grass. La. He wouldn't want to share with other people. So he then said to the man, thank you for killing the elephant and saving my grass. But the man was a cunning man, right? Which man would want to give help without getting something in return, isn't it? Not many people are helpful. When they offer to help you, they might have certain plans in the mind to get something out of you. So, but this horse was very foolish, naive, right? So the horse said, now I request you to get down from my back. Take away the saddle and take away the bridle, you know, that, that rope that's tied to the mouth there. Huh? I'll take away all those things. Now if you free me, I can go on my way already. But the man did not get down. The man laughed out loud on hearing what the horse said. All right? I need the horse. I, this is a story so animals could talk, huh? Communicate with the man and other animals also, huh? Like Aesop, Sable, and Jataka stories. Huh? So then the horse said, Thank you. I uh, just now I told you the horse thanked the man uh, for killing the elephant. Now you better free me. Uh, the man was laughing, you know, just put in a cartoon image, huh? uh, laughing, laughing, you know, uh, yes, having certain plans, uh, very cunning, uh, right? So what did he do? Uh, so let us go on to slide number 11. Ha ha ha. The man said, Do you think I'm a fool to remove the saddle and the bridle? Do you think I'm a fool to free you? Ah? Huh? Forget the thought of getting free. You are mine now. I own the house. From now on, you are my servant. And you will always work for me. All right, so you didn't want to get down. Because once uh, you have the bridle uh, tied onto the horse, uh, Right? And the man are holding on the horse, the horse cannot get off or get away free, you see. So what to do? So in other words, the man actually captured the horse already. Right. So he would you know, he brought him back. Lah. He brought him back, and then there will be a place he could he, the horse wouldn't be able to escape because the horse always died. Right? In that shape. Right, maybe if it's uh, like a hut or something like that, lah. Uh, you have seen certain cows or horses, uh, in their, uh, uh, in the barns, uh, right? Or uh, in the barns, uh, of course, they will be fed with the grass and thing. So he became a slave, a servant to the man, uh. he Had to serve the man. The man, uh, would use the horse to ride out to maybe hunt for animals and so on. His life was hard and miserable. So from this story, you see, Shatiman paid a heavy price. He made wrong decisions. And he was, look on, we'll see the life lesson. He was not compassionate and kind. right? And he trusted a human being. He should realize that uh, it's not easy to find uh, somebody willing to help you uh, and get nothing. <laughs> Correct or not? Isn't it? 
Ah, so he trusted the human being and said, yeah, yeah, I will help you. But the human being has certain intention, bad intention. He wanted to own the, the horse, you see. So that actually is the end of the story that the horse led a miserable life. And then we will discuss this uh, in the life lessons that he met with a sad end uh, to become a slave of the man uh, because he didn't do good, uh, you can say. Uh, uh. So we are coming to the end already. Uh, now we are going to share the video. I mean, I share the narration. And now we go on to slide number 12. Ah, uh, life lessons to learn. Pelajaran hidup untuk dipelajari. The background you can see is a man communicating, talking with the horse. Remember the story? You know, the horse went to seeking help, asked for help, and the man agreed and so on, and then asked the horse to let him ride on the back uh, uh, with the saddle and then with the bridle, controlling the horse already. You know, uh, you have seen on the pictures. Uh, so now let us see some lessons. So let us click. Ah, the first lesson. Do not be selfish. Share and care. Ah, so that's the first lesson. Actually, you know, if uh, the horse uh, had been a kind, compassionate, uh, he could actually talk to the elephant. Ah, you know, this I've been uh, eating this grass, this area. The grass can grow again okay, also, uh, right? So you can uh, eat. Uh, I allow you to share with me everything. Then these parts I will eat. So we all share. Uh, we are good friends. And then now, uh, things will be very happy, isn't it? So share and care. So in life, we must always not be selfish. Always thinking of ourselves and don't bother about others. So we must have Kindness, compassion, and all those stuff, isn't it? So, you know, uh, this fellow uh, was very angry. Uh, he wanted everything up for himself. I mean, the grass can grow uh, in the uh, forest or jungle area, isn't it? Right? So, it was just a case of uh, maybe quite selfish. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, so, that is the first uh, lesson that you have to learn. Now, let us go on to the second one. Uh, it's here. Thinking, speaking, and acting foolishly will bring much suffering. Actually, you know, we commit either good actions or wrong actions to three doors. Our thoughts, what we think, and then what we say, and what we do. Right? So if you think good thoughts, speak good words, and do good things, uh, that means you are generating good karma. And you do good, good will come to you. Whereas if we will have uh, evil thoughts, you know, wanting to hurt people uh, and want to kill uh, another pers a person or another animal or whatever, or you speak words uh, which are angry words, you know, words of uh, revenge and things like that. And then also you do certain things. Uh, uh, in this case, the man uh, did uh, the killing and that was because of the horse or so, you see. So thinking, speaking, and acting foolishly will bring much suffering. But you find that these bad traits are huh, shown by the horse in a way. Huh? That he was thinking selfish thoughts, isn't it? Thoughts of anger. Thoughts of uh, stinginess. Uh, no compassion. Not good thoughts huh, like meta thoughts or compassion. Right? No or caring, no? And then, you know, when he, he didn't go to speak with the elephant more properly, you know. He went to see, he didn't give up on the idea of the lion, and then he went to see the man, and then talk all the bad things about the elephant, nah. oh, raining, uh, spoiling my grass, all this and that, all those stuff. Nah. So he was quite angry and upset. Nah. And then he acted foolishly because he agreed to what the man suggested, huh? Ah, oh, the man uh, riding on top of him and then going to kill him. He said, yeah, 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 you can kill. I will follow whatever you say. Ah, so you see all the unwholesome things, uh, not good things. Uh. 
And you see, in the end, what happened? Isn't it? Right? That he became a slave, lah, a servant. No more freedom. Whereas if he had been kind, very compassionate towards the elephant, and then talk things over, compassionate, everything, this would not, be, would not happen, isn't it? The man would not uh, take control of him, really. He would live in freedom, and then also allow the elephant to come once in a while and share the grass. It's in the jungle, there will be a lot of grass. <laughs> That's what we say, lah, right? So now let us go on to the, the next one. Ah, uh, beware of people who help but have bad ulterior motives. I believe we say other udang is a balit batu. Ah, uh, there are people you have to be very careful, no? They offer you help, they want to give you things, just as con men, uh, scammers, ah. Uh, uh, they say they will help you invest your money and they will even uh, for a start, uh, uh, put in the money in your account and so on. Then later on, uh, they got actually bad intention to scam you, uh, uh, cheat you, uh, con you and all your money disappears from your bank account. Uh, you hear of so many cases. So therefore, you have to be very careful of people. You cannot just simply trust uh, without investigating. Wisdom tells you that you have to find out more. Otherwise, uh, what happens? Imagine uh, if you are the head of the family and you are uh, out of greed and are not care, being very careful, you got cheated, got scammed by people, you have no more money or the family will suffer so, isn't it? Uh, the bad hats, all these have conned you already. Uh, the, the world you find is filled with uh, a lot of these bad people. So you have to be wise uh, before you decide to trust other people. Of course, uh, there are some people you trust uh, because you have found out already. You are very careful, cautious, heedful. Uh, maybe like, like some people uh, that you meet in the Buddhist association or the monks or nuns who are well cultivated, you trust them. Uh, uh, or some good teachers, you will have to find out for yourself. Uh, this way, uh, then uh, you will not... <laughs> go into states of suffering. Uh, just like this horse, uh, not thinking properly, foolish thinking, selfish thoughts, uh, anger, uh, and then uh, thinking of himself only, and then even willing to kill. So all these not good traits. Uh, so in the end, you know what happens. Uh, uh, do good, good will fall upon you. Do bad, you will get the bad things also. Right? So, and of course, they didn't tell about uh, the man uh, who was uh, who killed the elephant, and then uh, he also would probably go and hunt other animals. So, but the story did not tell about you know he would probably face with bad things also because uh, he killed ah, uh, and then he lied ah, uh, you know, and then he was not honest ah. Uh, so, uh, so the elephant was actually the innocent one, I would say. Yeah, it's natural. Uh, the elephant uh, will want to feed on some grass. Uh. Uh, so that is this very important uh, lesson that you can learn. So we come to the last slide. Uh, today we have a short lesson. Uh, it's only probably about half an hour. And you can learn important things also. Uh. These are the three things I want to uh, discuss with you based on the story of the foolish horse. Uh, now we come to the last slide. Now, actually, we have a very important point of Dhamma here. Kindness, compassion, and wisdom we must practice. Uh, three things here. Kindness, uh, actually, we, we tie up with metta, la, loving kindness, actually. And compassion is zipay, uh. Ah, You always... Feel for people, uh, the poor elephant are uh, very hungry, like you eat a bit of my one. Uh. Uh, that's all feeling, you see. Uh, so, and then wisdom, very important to understand things and to think clearly, right? And not just foolishly out of greed or out of anger. Then you think foolishly, that is not wisdom really. Any thinking uh, that is uh, based on greed selfishness, anger, all right? revenge, all these are, would not have wisdom. 
Wisdom will always be tied up with compassion, loving kindness. Uh, these three qualities are very, very important. You must practice. Uh, when you practice this, uh, metta, and then uh, having empathy, uh, being very compassionate towards other suffering ones, uh, and then the ability to find out what is the true thing, and then uh, what is good, what is bad, and all these things, this wisdom, uh, you have to learn the Dharma to find out. <laughs> then if you do this, uh, you will get true happiness and peace. Right? Uh, so you can see that this story, the horse uh, did not show the metta, did not show the compassion. Of course, he was foolish. He did not have wisdom. He trusted the man who did. Uh, so let us read again. Kindness, compassion, and wisdom. We must practice. Only then can we get through happiness and peace. Ah, uh, the rhyming one, you know, couplet. Ah, uh, so that as we have come to the end of this short discussion based on the story. Uh, so before we say sadhu three times, so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all boys and girls and the students of Buddhist Sunday School and all students in maybe even secondary. And in fact, I would like to thank also all the parents and grandparents who have been watching this to learn the moral lessons to teach their grandchildren or their children. Uh, and also the teachers of the Buddhist Sunday School and the Dharma classes. So I say thank you and sadhu to all of you because you have taken time to follow this presentation, even though it's uh, much shorter already now. And uh, may you all be well and happy. Uh. So let us now put our palms together and say sadhu three times. Uh. Sadhu. Sadhu, sadhu. Uh, to all of you who have been following this presentation, may you all be well, happy, and peaceful. And may you always learn the Dharma that will teach you many important things in, for life. And then you will be more peaceful and happy. Right? So take care.